So as you can see, I'm at Monk Lakes. I'm here on the Carp Basic Social. We're doing a 48 hour session on Lake called Mallard. It has got some really big catfish in it. It's also got some really big carp, uh, original fish that are quite old and nice looking as well. So uh, I'm gonna get those rods out now because it's getting late, very late. So uh, let's get those rods out quickly and then I'll give you a quick catch up in a bit of where I'm casting and what I'm doing. So let's get those rods out straight away. So let's go. Well, the rods are out now. Um, you know, I've got quite a lot of water in front of me. Um, I didn't realize how much water I had in front of me. I knew it was a decent swim, but uh, yeah, I've got quite a lot. A lot of open water area. Um, I've got a big aisle in front of me and I've got a lovely margin to my right as well. So um, yeah, good areas to try and figure out where I'm gonna go. And I decided to put one down the margin to my right because I know it's a good spot and it does do bites. And the other one is the island. Um, I've come about two foot away from the island. I haven't gone too close. I don't want to go right tight up against it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm happy with that. I've got pop-ups on um, and I've got helicopter setups on as well just because there's a lot of rubbish and weed and horribleness on the bottom and I just wanted to manage, make sure that, I just wanted to make sure my hook baits are presenting on top of it. Now, I've got pop-ups on, on both um, and I'm doing something to my bait that I'm putting at the top as well, which I'll let you know later what hook baits I'm using and what bait, bottom baits I'm using and anything else. Uh, but for now, I'm just having a little look, see if I can see anything show. Um, you know, give me a bit more of a sign of where I'm fishing this good area, really. I haven't really seen any signs of carp just yet. Um, but, yeah, it's getting quite late now and I've, I'm, at least I've got the rods out. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy with them. I'm happy with them completely. I've put a couple of handfuls of boilies over to each one um, and I'll just see what happens. Hopefully something will happen tomorrow morning. Um, but, yeah, it's getting dark now, so, uh, well, the next hour, I think. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to this. Give me a fun social and uh, hopefully everyone catches as well. Uh, I'll definitely go around tomorrow and uh, uh, film around the lake and show other people uh, the Cut Basics team. I'm just going to see what happens. Hopefully tomorrow morning I'll get something. So uh, let's see. Well, good morning. Um, nothing happened for me, I'm afraid, after that rush of getting the rods out. Uh, pretty silent all night. Did see a carp roll um, in the next swim to me. Um, I've got Adam fishing next to me and he had a carp roll literally, I don't know, 10 or 10, 15 feet away from his uh, bait spot. And it's not that far around the corner for me. So uh, yeah, so we have seen carp in that area, um, but yeah, it's not, looking that great at the moment for carp <laughs> but a few catfish did get caught last night uh, including the bream as well so uh, a few carp <laughs> a few other fish came out but not carp <laughs> i think uh, everyone sort of just sort of getting used to the lake a lot of people haven't fished it before and i haven't really i fished it once and i caught a tench and that was it so uh, yeah for me i haven't really done huge amounts on this lake so i don't really know massive loads about the stock or anything but I know there's only like 40 or 50 carp in it so I know it's low stock uh, nice looking carp and they're not that easy to catch as well they're quite uh, riggy um, and they they're just quite used to being fished for a lot on here so um, you have to sort of keep changing things I think to get bites um, I started off with furrow pink pop-ups 15 millers over the top of 60 uh, all nut boilies. Um, I've soaked them in water overnight before I turned up and I added a bit of all nut glug to it uh, just to boost them up a little bit 
Um, it's something that I always do when I fish like lakes that's silty. This one's very silty and for a lot of uh, leaf and debris in the moment, especially it's autumn. So it, you know, it's that time of year where you're going to get a lot more rubbish in the lake as well. But so far nothing's happened on that. So I may end up changing to wafters, uh, match the hatch. Um, but at the moment I'm just going to stick with what I'm using. I'm going to give it a few more hours in the swim and uh, then I'm probably going to go for a wander and a bit of a chat around the lake and see what else has been happening. Maybe other things have uh, happened since uh, last night and things I haven't heard. Maybe someone's caught a carp, I don't know, but um, go around and have a chat, see everyone and, uh, and then I'll probably come back and rebait and rethink, I think. So uh, for now, I'm just going to sit and uh, enjoy the uh, sunrise and uh, see what happens. <laughs> Just uh, reeling my rods and just going for a little walk, um, just seeing everyone else around the lake, see what's been caught, and just figure out what's happening really, and uh, get to see everyone and uh, say hello. Uh, it's a social after all. Um, yeah, so I'm just going now for a little wander. Um, I just went and saw Adam, and he just had a little catfish. So. Uh, so it's coming out, but mostly catfish. <laughs> I'd like to try and see if I can get a carp or see someone catch a carp at least, was maybe give me some hope that I might get one. So uh, yeah, go for a bit of a wander and uh, see everyone. Well, I'm back from my uh, walk around the lake. I have recast the rods since I got back. Um, I have made one change. I've changed to uh, match the hatch wafter, that's an all nut wafter to match the baits I'm feeding. Uh, that's in the margin. Um, it's quite a clean spot out there. Oh, I haven't really found that much rubbish down there. So I'm going to try a wafter and see what happens on that. Um, but the other thing is, uh, I put them out, but I've only got about an hour and then we're going to go back around the other side and we're going to have something to eat. So um, I'm just going to see if I can get something until then. Otherwise, um, I'll be off around the other side of the lake and then I'll be back again to recast them again. But uh, at least we're having a bit of a social. We're all going to get together and uh, have something to eat. So um, yeah, so uh, see what happens until then. Um, if not, when I get back, get the rods back out as quick as possible and hope that I get something other before dark or early morning would be, I think, what I've been told is mostly early morning bites. So uh, that's when I'm expecting to get something. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's been uh, it's been nice seeing everyone. It's just a bit annoying on the fishing front, that's all. <laughs> um, yeah, not much has happened today. So uh, yeah, see what happens. Hopefully I'll catch something. The first 24 hours didn't do so well, but hopefully in the last 24 hours I'll catch something. Let's see anyway. Well, the last time you saw me, I was heading off around the other side of the lake um, to have a bit of a social and some food and stuff. And uh, 
We ended up staying there until nearly dark. So <laughs> yeah, so I rushed back around to get the rods out as quick as possible. Uh, didn't get much filming done because it was a bit of a hectic thing. It was literally about to go dark and I just wanted to get the rods out as quick as possible. Um, we were only meant to be around there for about an hour and it ended up being like nearly two. So uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I, yeah, didn't get my rods in until near enough dark. Um, yeah, so I recast my rod towards the island, but my margin one, I just felt like I wasn't on the money. I wasn't there. Um, it just felt like I couldn't get round enough, further around anyway. Um, and uh, Kyle said to me, there's a known spot round the corner <laughs> and I should be on it. And then Adam next door got his bait boat out and we managed to go all the way around the corner, onto the bang on the spot, or on the money, and then, <laughs> Four o'clock in the morning, I get a couple of indications, and then five o'clock, it takes off. I, I picked it up, played it, you know, got it round, round, I was trying to get it round, and it just wouldn't come round. I felt it snagged up on something, so um, I didn't actually bring my waders with me. Um, yes, I know, I didn't bring them with me, so I had to borrow waders, uh, and then I had to get out into the lake and try and retrieve it and uh yeah the fish didn't feel like it was still on by the time i got in my waders and went around the corner i think it was gone and uh that was it that's my bite that's me done <laughs> um yeah it's a bit hard work on this lake um if you get one bite it should be a carp um around that corner as well um you know it might be a catfish but it probably was a different i i think it was carp and you only really get one bite because there's only a few carp in here. So uh, it's a bit disappointing. i um, bit frustrated that I didn't land it because it, it could have been a decent fish, who knows. Um, I just don't think there's a chance anymore. I mean, it's nearly eight o'clock now. Well, actually, check my phone. What time is it now? No, nearly half eight now. <laughs> yeah, it's half eight. Uh, yeah, so maybe another half an hour worth sticking it out for and then that's it for me this morning i just don't know what else i can do they don't seem to be feeding that much i think they're feeding more really early morning and then that's it and then that, your chance is gone um, i'm not entirely sure if catfish came out last night at all either i didn't really hear many takes so um, i'm not totally sure might be just be a very slow uh, lake at the moment maybe the fishing is even slower than normal uh, but it is autumn and it does get like that. So um, I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep sticking it out. Um, I'm here until sort of midday, so you know, something might happen, you never know, but I'm just gonna keep going, keep trying, and maybe I'll get something. <laughs> Is it for my session? Uh, didn't manage to get another bite, and that was it, really. That just that one bite and lost it. What can you do? Just really in the last rod now, and uh, that's me done. It's, it's a bit of a shame, really. I've just I've put in a lot of effort. Obviously, I've had a bit of fun and uh, and tried to become part of the social as much as possible. But obviously, I had filming to do and trying to catch a carp at least. I thought I would have at least one catfish, but didn't end up happening. But at least I've had a bite. I don't know what else I could have done. I tried everything, I tried my best, and it didn't happen. Oh, right, I just need to finish reeling this rod. Oh, nothing wrong with that. So all I gotta say is thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.
don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out all my other videos. And also don't forget to put a comment.